Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create a math quiz app using MIT App Inventor. So over here you can see the quiz and you have the first question which is 31 plus 35. So let me enter the correct answer which is the 66 and click on check. You can see that it shows good job and it shows correct. Now I'll click on next question and you can see the next question. This time let me enter a wrong answer for this. And you can see that it shows wrong. Now I'm going to enter the correct answer which is 167 and click on check. And again you can see that it shows good job and correct. And now this time let me enter a wrong answer like this and click on check. And you can see that it shows wrong. So this will be helpful for kids to practice their math skills. And now you can also add more operations like multiplication, division and subtraction to this quiz. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to add the background image for this math quiz app. So I am going to put this background image which I have already uploaded and click on OK. Now over here you can see the math background image over here and next I am going to go to layout and I am going to bring in a vertical arrangement. We want this vertical arrangement to be at the center of screen 1. So let's go to screen 1 and change align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this. Next we are going to increase the height of this vertical arrangement to be 50% and the width of this vertical arrangement to be like 80% like this. Next let's change the background color of this to be orange like this. And we are going to put the align horizontal and align vertical properties to be center for this vertical arrangement too. Next let's bring in an horizontal arrangement inside this vertical arrangement for which the width is going to be fill parent. Next we are going to go to the user interface and we are going to bring in a label. We want this label to be again at the center of the arrangement. So in this layout horizontal arrangement we are going to put align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this. Next in this label we are going to change the text to be 0 and let's make the font to be bold and increase the font size for this to be 45 like this. Next I am going to duplicate this label like this and we are going to put the text to be plus and again if you want you can duplicate the label and we are going to put the text to be 0 like this. Again duplicate the label and put the text to be equal to symbol like this and next we are going to bring in let's go to layout and we are going to bring in a horizontal arrangement which is going to act as a spacer between the elements. So we are going to put the height of this to be like 2%. Next let's go to the user interface and we are going to bring in a text box. And in this text box the user will enter the answer for the question shown in these labels. So we are going to increase the height of this text box to be 6% and the width of this text box to be 50% like this. Next let's increase the font size of this text box to be 25 and we are going to put num we are going to enable the numbers only property and also we are going to change the text alignment to be center in this text box. Next we are going to change the hint for this to be enter answer. Next we are going to again put the spacer by duplicating this horizontal arrangement and we are going to bring in a button and we are going to change the text of this button to be check. Let's increase the font size of this button to be 18 and make the font to be bold and we are going to change the background color to be like dark green color. Next let's change the text color of this button to be white like this. Next let's go to the we are going to, let's go to the palette in user interface section and we are going to bring in the notify component so that we can show the we can show an alert to the user that if their quest if their answer is right or wrong. We are going to rename all the components so that it will be easy for us in the block section. So first let's rename this label 1 which is a number to be num1 label. So you can see that I have renamed this to be num1 lbl and this one to be operation label and the label 3 to be num2 label and label 4 to be the equal label. Next we are going to rename this text box where the user will enter the answer to be answer text box. And let's rename this button 1 to be check button. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create 3 variables. So the first variable is going to be num1 and we are going to set the value of this variable to be 0. Now let's duplicate this block and we are going to put another variable named num2 and again we are going to duplicate this block and the next variable is answer variable. So we in num1 we will store the number 1 for the addition and again in num2 we will show number 2 and then we will calculate the answer and store it in this answer variable. Next we are going to create a procedure where 
we will set the question or create the question and show the question to the user so i'm going to put set question and inside this procedure to set the question we, we will first set num1 and we are going to set it to be a random number between 1 to 100 so if you go to the math blocks you you have a block called random integer and in this block it will choose a random integer from 1 to 100 so if you want more big numbers in in the addition or in the quiz you can increase this number to be 1000 or 10000 but i'm going to put the range to be from 1 to 100 so that it asks questions for small numbers in the quiz next let me duplicate this variable this block and we are going to change this to be global num2 and again we'll choose a random integer from 1 to 100 next if you want you can also create a variable called operation where you can choose whether the operation is addition subtraction multiplication or division so you can choose a random number between the four and you can choose which operation to be done in this quiz app so but now i'm going to stay with addition for this quiz app and now after we set the number one and num2 we need to calculate the answer so we will set the global answer variable to be num1 plus num2 so let's go to the math block and we are going to bring in this block the addition operation like this and inside this we will put num1 and num1 is getting added to num2 like this so we will set global answer to be num1 plus num2 next we also need to clear at the beginning after the user clicks on the ne next question so we need to clear this text box answer text box so for that let's go over here to the answer text box and we will check we will we are going to set the text of this answer text box to be a, an empty string so we will clear all the text when we set the question like this next after we set the question we will after we set num1 num2 and global answer we need to show it to the user through the labels which we have created so let's go to num1 label and we will set num1.txt to be whatever is in the variable num1 so we will set it to the num1 which is random integer from 1 to 100 now i'm going to duplicate this way this block and again we will set num2 label to be global num2 variable like this so that we can show the question to the user next we also want we are going to call this procedure when screen one is initializing so when the app when the user opens the app or when the screen one is initializing we we are going to call this procedure so that we can show the question to the user so we are going to call this set question in the screen one initialize next when the user clicks on the check button which is this one we need to check whether the answer is right or wrong entered by the user in this answer text box so for that we will use the if condition so let's bring in the if condition like this and we are going to bring in the e equal like this over here equal and and over here we, we will check whether the answer is equal to whatever the user entered in the text box so let me go to the answer text box and we will first get the answer text box dot text and we'll see if the answer is equal to the correct answer which we have stored in this variable so we will get the answer and check if both of them are equal so if it is equal using the notifier component we will show an alert or a message so let's bring in this block show message dialog and let's enter the message so i'm going to bring in an empty string like this and the message is going to be correct and i'm going to put the title for this to be good job and the button text to be next question so using this the user can see whether they are correct or wrong and then they can click on the next question button to see the next question now if it is wrong so which we will deal with the else condition so if if the answer text box is not equal to the global answer then we will show that your answer is wrong so again we will duplicate this and we are going to put the message to be wrong and the title to be wrong and again the button text is going to be next question now we just need to call the set question procedure in these conditions so that the user can see the next question so i'll just duplicate it and put it over here in the else condition too now let us test the app and let's see if it is working so over here you can see the app so you can see the first question which is 80 plus 96 i'm going to put the correct answer which is 176 and click on check you can see that it shows good job and it shows correct and we can see the next question button and you can see the next question and i'll just enter the answer and you can again see that it shows correct and this time i'm going to put the answer to be wrong so i'll just put 85 and click on check you can see that it shows the answer to be wrong and again let, let me put the wrong answer and again it shows wrong next do you want to create a voice quiz app using which the mobile will ask you questions and you need to answer using speech recognizer 
watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here.